Hello guys, back again at Allo Recaps. Today we will recap a story from a 1986 movie, What Every Frenchwoman Wants. A boy named Roger came home from his boarding school to spend the summer vacation. His mother had sent a maid named Miss Muller with a horse-drawn carriage to welcome him. Due to the poor suspension of the carriage, the melons belonging to Miss Muller ricocheted and made Roger's little bro unable to resist the urge to spit out a few drops of white ink when looking at them. Miss Muller realized this, but she didn't say anything to Roger. Sometime later, they finally arrived home and were greeted by other family members. Roger's mother saw a white stain on Roger's pants and asked what it was. Roger's aunt defended him and told his mother that it was common for a child of Roger's age. She then cleaned the stain with a tissue. Roger had a younger sister named Bertha, who took him to explore the forest where Roger again met Miss Muller. Miss Muller suddenly urinated while standing up and started watering the plants in front of Roger. Roger in his mind could not believe what he had just seen. He then decided to take a walk in the forest. When he slipped and fell into the bushes, he accidentally heard a woman's voice and found that one of his servants named Ursul was exchanging sweat with someone. Ursul saw Roger and smiled at him. Roger got nervous and ran towards home. In the evening during dinner, his strict disciplinarian mother told Roger to behave during the vacation. And after dinner, Roger went to his room to sleep. He accidentally heard a noise outside and decided to check it out. He was surprised to see one of his maids named Helen was being serviced by someone from behind the door. Roger then tried to calm his little bro and went back to his room. In the room, Bertha was hiding in his bed. Bertha then began to tell him about her aunt. She told Roger that Aunt Margaretha was still a virgin, making Roger ask why their aunt did not marry. Bertha replied that she didn't know, but she heard that their aunt was afraid of men. The next morning, Bertha and Roger visited the riverbank, where all their servants used to bathe and share secrets. Roger and Bertha quickly hid behind a tree. While the servants chatted, they saw three men passing by from the other side of the river, who were also servants in Roger's house. As soon as they saw the servants, the men began to show their symbols of manhood to the women from the other side of the river. Ursul was delighted to see this, and she showed the men her rainforest. This made Bertha and Roger instantly shocked. A few days passed, Roger's sister-in-law named Elisa arrived and was welcomed by the family members. Elisa gave hugs to everyone except Roger. Roger was disappointed by this discrimination. Bertha took a disappointed Roger to the church, where they climbed to the top to hide and listen to their aunt's confession. In the confessional, Margaretha confessed her sins to the priest. She said that she had committed a very big sin. The priest told her to calm down and confess her sin. Then Margaretha told him that she felt attracted to her nephew, who was Roger. She also imagined herself in bed with Roger many times. Roger, who was listening to that whole conversation, was happy to know that there was at least someone in the house who cared about him. It made him very excited and he fell onto the priest. The priest reported this to Roger's mother and told them to slap his buttocks ten times with wild bushes to teach him a lesson. Roger's mother agreed to this punishment and asked Margaretha to punish him. At first Margaretha refused, but after being convinced by her brother, she agreed and punished Roger. Ursul and Bertha also watched this scene from outside the window. At night, Roger sleeps upside down because of the wound on his buttocks. He also again hears voices outside his room, and when he peeks out, he again sees Helen being serviced by someone from behind the door. On the other hand, his father's friend named Mr. Frank also appears to be enjoying the same view that Roger witnessed. Then the scene changes when Ursula arrives at Roger's room and tells him that she saw Roger being punished. Ursula then offers to apply a healing cream, but Roger refuses. Here Roger instead asks Ursula about Helen and the mysterious person who always gives service to Helen. Roger asked if Ursula knew who that person was. Ursula said that it was the secret of the servants and left Roger still curious and wondering when was the time he could give service to others. Roger remembered Mr. Frank and went to his room to ask him if he knew anything about the man who often provided service to Helen. When Roger got to his room, he saw Mr. Frank cocking his symbol of manhood. While looking at something through the telescope, Mr. Frank was surprised by Roger and immediately left there. After that, Roger also tried to look through the telescope and was surprised to see two people enjoying the night. 
He also found a book that had some interesting photos and stories. He then took the book and left. On the way to his room, he heard voices from his parents' room, and decided to peek through the keyhole. But suddenly Elisa's fiancé, named Roland, caught him in the act. Roger asked her not to tell her parents about this, and in return, she would do whatever Roland wanted. Roland told Roger to wash his car in the next day. The next day, Roger went into the chicken coop. While reading the book he stole from Mr. Frank, he gave a sweet massage to his little bro. When one of the servants went into the coop, Roger quickly hid. A while later, Helen came to feed the chickens. Then suddenly the male servant locked Helen in a window, and then came out to give service to Helen. Roger then offered to help Helen. But as soon as he came forward to help, Helen told him to wait because she was enjoying the service from the servant. Roger was suspicious and before he realized what was happening, outside the manservant had done his job well. In the next scene, Roger is talking to Elisa and her fiancé. As he is about to leave, Roger finds an opportunity to swap his book with Elisa's and spies on Elise when she reads the swapped book. At that point, Roger can no longer control his little bro, so he goes to see Ursul who is in the kitchen. Roger caught her from behind, but Ursul was startled and broke the plate on Roger's head. Until finally, she realized that it was Roger. She tried to penetrate his mistake by giving him the green signal to give service to Roger. But just before they could do anything, another waiter arrived and Roger had to leave. After this interaction, little bro Roger was completely uncontrollable. He saw Miss Muller and decided that today he would eat her melon. Roger also tried to approach Miss Muller, followed her somewhere and finally caught her from behind. He began to tease Miss Muller. At first Miss Muller refused, until finally she enjoyed it. But not long after, the moment of pleasure had to stop because a postman arrived at his residence. The man announced that the world war had begun, and Germany had invaded France. Because of this, every adult male in Roger's family had to join the war. Hearing this, Roger was very happy. Until the next morning, when everyone left for the battlefield, Roger set his sights on Ursul who also wanted to be with him. Without wasting time, the scene continued as Roger began to undress Ursul, but Ursul was wearing a very complicated outfit. And this made it difficult for Roger to open it. Ursul eventually helps Roger, and they spend the whole night together. In the next scene, we see one of Roger's maids named Kate as sitting by the river. Suddenly Roger comes out of the water and starts flirting with her. In the end, he makes love to her. At night, Margaretha goes into Roger's room and finds Roger in his bed. Roger tried to remain calm, and told Margaretha that he knew that Margaretha was still a virgin. Roger offered to give service to Margaretha. At first Margaretha refused, but after some temptation from Roger, they could not control their desire, until in the end they both spent the night with passion. On the other hand, Helen was confused because there was no other man in the house. She then went into Roger's room. Roger was shocked and asked why Helen always delivered food at night to an unknown man's room. Casually, Helen said that it was her duty to bring food. Before Helen left, Roger caught her from behind and tried to provide service to Helen. The next day, Roger was playing with Bertha in the park. At that moment, he saw Elisa and tried to follow her to the horse stable. In the horse stable, Roger began to tease Elisa. At first Elisa refused Roger's advances. But because her desire was already high after she read the book Roger had exchanged, Elisa could not control herself anymore. She then surrendered to being serviced by Roger in the horse stable. After this incident, Roger really became the king in his house. The servants also began to get used to coming to him in pairs, and left only after they were satisfied. Sometimes Roger also received trisome service at the same time. But all this fun had to come to a sudden halt, when one day Elisa informed Roger that she was pregnant. Hearing this, Roger almost had a heart attack. Because at the same time, Ronald had also arrived with his plane, and stated that the war had ended, and now everyone had returned. Roger who was now in big trouble, began to think of ways to find a solution. At the same time, Ursul also came and told him that she was also pregnant. Then followed by his aunt Margaret who also gave the same information. At this point, Roger really had to use his mind to find a solution. Because if not, he would get into big trouble. He then gets an idea, and asks Ursul to bring red nail polish. With that nail polish, he goes to Elisa and convinces her to sleep with Ronald tonight. 
Roger asks Elisa to paint some spots of the sheets on her bed, with red nail polish which will make Ronald think that Elisa is indeed a virgin. Next he goes to Margaret, and tells her to marry Mr. Frank. Because according to Roger, Mr. Frank really likes her and will take good care of her. Roger finally went to Ursul, and intended to take responsibility by proposing to her. But Ursul told Roger, that she already had someone she wanted to marry. A few days passed, the three were married on the same day. Roger succeeded in his attempt to bury his great secret. The summer vacation was coming to an end. The next day, as Roger was getting ready to leave for the dormitory, Helen suddenly came and told him that she was also pregnant. But Helen told him that he didn't need to worry, because some of the men in the house had often given service to her. So she would blame someone else for her pregnancy, and force that person to marry her. Roger is happy to hear this, and finally rushes off to the dormitory to continue school. And the movie ends. So what do you think about this movie? If you like it please click like and leave a comment for this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video from Allo Recaps. See you next video.